it's ice cream. It's Sutter's Quality Foods, Yoder's Ice Creamery. You love ice cream? I do, come on, let's go. So you saw our big dog run by out here. Um, amazing story that kind of backs up this whole ice cream competition thing that we're, we've been talking about. It's a very specific competition. They send you specific containers in the mail that you have to put your ice cream inside of and they say you have to ship it overnight to Cornell University on this day because they're all set up to receive it on this day and run their tests in order to enter the ice cream competition. So we're all kind of geared up here ready to go. Um, of course, the UPS man drops it off, not at our front door, similar to what's here, drops it off at a side door. And our big kind of family dog, farm dog that's around here gets a hold of the packages before we do and literally eats the competition containers. And it feels so like stereotypical, the dog ate my homework, that I felt so weird sending them this email. So we snap photos of it. I send the email off saying, Hey, you're not gonna believe this. I know it sounds corny, but our dog literally ate our competition containers. We're not gonna be able to hit this deadline of sending these in. Would you guys extend it, extend the deadline a little bit? Said, it is pretty odd, but uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and do it. So they, they reshipped us containers. We got our ice cream, put it in the containers, sent it off to Cornell. That's months before the actual competition when you find out your results and come to find out at the end of you know the award ceremony, they're calling Yoder Southern Creamery up to the stage uh, for first place. And, not, and no one in the crowd knew that we almost didn't even enter the competition because the dog ate the containers that were sent to us. Elizabeth Yoder. Uh, I work for Yoder Southern Creamery. Um, my job is to work on developing flavors, uh, make new recipes. Uh, look, I'll, we're always looking for areas to improve. Um, ice cream has always been a really big deal in my family. Uh, my dad grew up going to ice cream shop with his with his dad, um, getting milkshakes. He has really great memories from that. Um, it was kind of his dream to start his own ice cream business one day. Um, so in 2018, we started uh, making ice cream. Uh, we currently we have a shop uh, downtown Main Street, Sarasota. Um, check it out. So my dad, Bill Yoder, uh, loves vanilla. His favorite flavor is vanilla. Um, this past week, actually, we just got a second place award for um, in the nation for our vanilla. So we're very proud of uh, our vanilla. It's threefold blend. Hi, I'm Josh Hosteller, Production Manager at Yoder Southern Creamery. My job here is to oversee everything to do with ice cream, from managing people to placing orders to uh, coming up with recipes with Elizabeth, um, which she's my research and development person, and she's so good at coming up with recipes. We just came up with a peanut butter brownie, a non-dairy, and it actually placed first place in national Ice Cream Association. So I'm Nate, uh, president of Sutter's Quality Foods and of Yoder Southern Creamery. Um, those two brands um, are super important to us um, here at Sutter's. So familiar a little bit with the Sutter's Quality Foods brand. It's, it's a company and a name that's been around in this area since the 60s. Um, actually, right where I'm sitting in our entire facility was a chicken farm back in the day. This was a chicken house um, in the 60s all the way up until the late 90s. Um, gathering eggs, putting those eggs in cartons, putting them on the back of a truck, getting them out to restaurants. You know, that local farm fresh egg company is what Sutter's was uh, for many, many years. Um, and then as we continued to grow and expand, we kind of started to exceed our borders, our four walls. How can we keep growing as a company kind of with this business model and so we, we pivoted to 
um, bringing in milk, partnering with a local dairy, bringing in cheese, partnering with some people that bring in some nice specialty cheeses, also, you know, um, a bunch of different cheeses from, from around the country. And as we continue to grow, um, the county allow us, allowed us to convert everything here that you see on site uh, from being that chicken farm to being a dairy distributor. Even though you know we're a much different company than we are than we were when we started, um, we do a lot of things around here that try to capitalize on our roots. Right, we're family owned and operated. We're that family farm. The owner still lives here on site. We feel like even though we're not a farm anymore, we still a little bit feel um, like a farm. And so. Part of what we do with that, um, or part of what um, those roots has led us to do is saying, you know, we still want to like put our name on something, like we want to put our mark on something, do something special, do something different. And that's what led us to start Yoder Southern Creamery. Um, in 2018, um, you know, we kind of have this, this itch to say, hey, let's, we, we sell a lot of dairy, we sell a lot of dairy products, we want to sell ice cream, but what if rather than bringing in ice cream to sell, what if, what if we did it ourselves? And so, um, got some really smart people together, uh, came up with some really good ideas and launched Yoder Southern Creamery in 2018. And, you know, for us, it was a natural fit in terms of like, hey, let's just bring in a really great dairy product, sell it to our existing restaurants and hotels that are current customer base. Um, and you only know, you know, how good it is because you're trying it, you think it's great. And then you put it in front of your customers and they're like, whoa, this stuff is like really good, like really good. And so from there, we decided to, you know, hey, let's sell it to some scoop shops. Let's sell it to, you know, some of these different places that are focused on ice cream. and. Um, you know, almost the rest is history in terms of just continuing to gain steam, continuing to gain a lot of positive feedback. And I feel like one of the special things we have here about our team is the way that they're never settling for, hey, we launched this in 2018, it's getting positive reviews, let's just leave it how it is. We're constantly reworking our flavors. We're here, maybe feedback from a customer um, about an inclusion of one particular piece that we put in our ice cream. Okay, let's bring in some other samples. Let's try some other things. Let's work it in. Our butter pecan, just to be more specific, is one of those flavors where if you guys were to try it, you'd be like, oh, it's a great butter pecan. But we're a little bit of you know ice cream nerds here, and we're like, I think it could just be a little butter, more buttery, or I think does it, it needs a little bit more salt, or what if we we change the the pecan that's in it? And so we're just we're never settling for where we're at, and it sound that can sound a little bit cliche, but it's really true, and it has me eat a lot more ice cream than I should probably be eating because we're always testing batches, and if we're going to come out with a new flavor, um, it's easily going to be made eight different times in eight different ways before we ever say, hey, this is right. It's going to get that Yoder Southern Creamery label on the outside of the container and we're going to start selling it to our customers. And we kind of have always known that about ourselves in terms of always trying and always innovating and always trying new things. But you don't always necessarily know what the true ice cream critics think of you until you enter a competition. Our ice cream at Yoda Southern Creamery, we want you to have an enjoyable experience while you're eating it. We don't want you to um, sacrifice that experience in any way, whether it's a dairy-free line or whether it's your tra traditional, you know, high butter, fat, rich and creamy cow's milk ice cream. We want you to enjoy that experience while you're consuming it. That's who we are. That's what we do really well. And so we weren't really settled with any of these dairy-free options that were out there until we came up with this current formula. Um, and it's peanut butter brownie. Uh, fantastic, fantastic recipe is very enjoyable to eat. So we sent that off to the competition and we get to the end of the night and the award ceremony and it's like, first place, Yoder Southern Creamery, come on down. And we're just like. As a fun fact, I actually had worked for Nate's dad uh, back in the 90s, uh, managing a restaurant. And I did that for 12 years and uh, it's interesting, I work for his dad and now I'm working for Nate and Nate is really a cool guy, so. Also, it feels like we've done a service, which is what we're about, caring more about the service and the people at the end of it than about the numbers. It's like these people just went through COVID and they were struggling in the hospitality industry just to fight through 2020. And the best way I feel like I can support them and get their business back up to be successful is by making sure that they have the products they need to satisfy their customers every single day.
All right, so a couple of guys eating ice cream, uh, which is awesome, by the way. Yoders, you got to check it out. Uh, really cool stove, and it's like functional. What do you talk? What do you, what is it? Talk to me. Yeah, I wanted to bring you up here and show you this stove because I feel like it is just a little piece that reaffirms what we're about. Family owned, operated. Um, this stove is actually um, the stove of our owner, Bill, uh, his grandmother's stove. Uh, there was real food cooked on this in their house. They actually brought it down here all the way from the north, uh, set it up here, hooked up the ventilation to be able to function and use it. We don't actually use it, but uh, it's a really nice piece, but it just reaffirms that um, this company has been around for generations and we intend it to be around for many more generations. I mean, true story is, and I hope it shows well on camera, but it's beautiful. It reminds me like of a 57 Chevy or something exactly. like that, chromed out, all candy looking, beautiful. Um, we polish it every week. It's a, it's a yeah. thing. Yeah. I'm going to come by next week and I'm going to polish it. It'll be my, that's, you know, my contribution. Um, Nate, thank you for having us come out. We appreciate you letting us get into the facility, uh, get with the gang. Um, congratulations on, on, your, uh, on your first place. That's awesome. Sincerely appreciate it. Awesome. Thank you guys so much for coming out. Um, anytime you want to come try ice cream, anytime customers want to come and try ice cream, you want to bring them by. We love showing people around. We love welcoming them into our space. So, Chefs out there, you want to do a tour? Because it's full dairy. It's not just ice cream. It's full dairy, that really awesome stuff. Let, get with me. I'll, I'll make it happen. Let's do this. Awesome. Cheers, Thanks, man. Thank you.